Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. And today, in this video, what we're going to show you is an unboxing and an overview of one of the most requested products that we've had on our channel, and that is the Flysky FSI 6S. So stay tuned. So this is the Flysky FSI 6S and this is one of the most requested products that we've had on our channel and we're finally making a video on it. The thing is that this is a transmitter. If you don't know what a transmitter is to your drone, this is like a joystick that you use to control everything that your drone does. This communicates with the receiver which communicates with the flight controller and then that's what you know, functions. The flight controller is the brain of the drone and the transmitter and receiver communicate with each other. And yeah, that's how you fly your drone using this thing as your basically your joystick. So uh, this is this is a great product. This is for your drones, and we're just gonna unbox this, see what's inside, how it looks, and everything like that. And uh, let's see what the box says, shall we? Over here you have a few photos and FSI 6S digital proportional radio control system. Over here you have your specifications. So I'll just read the specifications out for you guys. So it's a 10 channel radio similar to the FSI 6X, the previous version of this thing. It has a range of 2.408 to 2.475 gigahertz with a bandwidth of 500 kilohertz. It has 135 bands. The RF power is less than 20 dBm. Uh, it has 4096 sensitivity. It has 2.4 gigahertz system. It has micro USB. I hoped it would have USB type C, but it's fine. Works perfectly well. Uh, it has power input of 4.2 to 6 volts and the antenna lengths are 26 millimeters into two. So there are two 26 millimeter antennas and it weighs a total of 410 grams. So let's just unbox this thing, see what's inside, how it looks like. Just pop this out. Over here, there's a manual. There's a quick start guide if you want to read it. There's that. Um, just open this stuff. And here is the device. It is heavy. Right at the back, I'm saying this is this is heavy, but it's, it's good. It's built really well. This feels metal because it's cold to the touch. I think it's metal. Um, okay, the throttles are auto centric, so. This is great news for people who use their drones for uh, for mainly camera purposes. If you're someone who uses your drones for photography or cinematography, this is, this is going to be great because these are auto-centric throttles and your variable position switches are also auto-centric. So this is great for people who use their drones for camera purposes like photography, cinematography. It's great, it's perfect. Um, there are a few buttons over here. I don't know what they are for. Are they your trim buttons? But I, I'm not really sure because it doesn't say anything over here. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, there are two power switches. Maybe you just have to press them both at the same time. Um, there are four switches over here. Uh, and oh, okay. So there are two switches which are of two points and two switches of three points. Uh, so use them accordingly. And the big quality is great. I like these grips over here that they've given. It's got some weight to it and it's solid. It feels like a premium device. This is really good. Um, here's where your antenna will sit over here. And even this is metal. It is really well built. Let's see what else is inside the box over here. So the first thing we got is this thing. Uh, this is to adjust the tension of your gimbal. So these things, these are loose right now. You can use this thing. Um, to adjust the tension on here, provided that it provided us with a micro USB cable, and the last thing that we have is the receiver. This receiver is very versatile, might I say, because you can use this for IBUS, quadcopters, even RC planes. Very versatile receiver. It's great that they have this included in this. So there's that. Let's just straight jump onto the transmitter and see what it's like. Um, this is great. I'm, I'm really liking the build of this. This is very sturdy. Um, yeah, let's just switch it on. I think you need four AA batteries for this. So we're just going to put that inside of this and we'll jump straight into switching this thing on. Okay, so we've put the batteries inside and let's just straight jump into switching this thing on. Okay. 
Okay, so what do we have here? Um, you have your TX, RX, you have the battery, uh, you have your T1, T2, that's the timer, okay. You have prime mode, that's off, it's perfectly fine. So we have reverse, end point, sub trim, trims, rate, you have throttle curve, you have for your aux channels, you have mix, because you have mixes out there. You have, you have four mixes, which is fine. I think in the A6X you had three and we have four. Great. Um, you have trims, uh, you have your sub trim, you have those 10 channels that we spoke about. You have end points for your 10 channels. That's what a system. And um, how many models this system have? It has it has five models. Okay, okay, it's five models. Your student mode. You have your trainer mode, you have multiple modes over here. But you do not have, at least in our firmware, let's see which firmware we have. We have this firmware over here, installed inside of this, outside of the box. Um, so one thing that this thing doesn't have is an RC airplane mode, at least in this firmware. You don't have an RC airplane mode, like the 6X had. So I think this is more focused on the quadcopter side rather than the RC airplane side. I think the 6X will be a better option for you if you are someone who uses RC airplanes more than quadcopters. This one is going to be really beneficial for people who use uh, cameras and everything on their drones. So this is great. And that was it. And that was it. That was the physical overview and the specification overview of the FSI 6S transmitter and the unboxing as well. So if you like this video, leave this video a like, share it with your friends, comment down below if you have any other questions regarding the 6S transmitter and we'll answer that or make a separate video answering all your questions regarding this transmitter. So leave a comment down below, subscribe if you already haven't and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.